nagpe-present ka po sa mga iba, pag yung mga hindi nyo po kilala, sinasabi nyo yung pangalan nyo. For example, I'm Filipina, I'm 18 years old. And then, your reputation. Ang reputation po, kung hari, um, yung mga PK, they can relate to me. Pag sinasabi nila yung mga ibang tao, ah, yun ang anak ni Pastora. So, yung reputation mo, alam nila na anak ng Pastora or yung para si anak ng ano, ganun. Amen po? And then, next, for example po, um, ito, okay. Uh, for example po, um, yung pangalan ko po, if you don't know, yung hindi ko po Christian mga parents ko, ang gusto po nilang pangalan para sa akin is Princess Karenina. Yung princess, sy syempre princess kasi babae, and then Nina kasi po is Tony and Mona. So yun, parang it represents them. Parang ako po yung nagrepresenta sa kanila. And um, today we will be tackling about three points po, very simple points, but I hope and I believe God throughout these points, God will reveal us something. Do you believe in that? I believe na uh, kanina pa po nung nagpipray po ko doon, uh, parang paiyak na po ako kasi sabi ko, Lord, um, I don't deserve this. Uh, how can you use a sinner like me? How can God use us sinners like us? But yet, His grace is abounding in us. But yet, His peace and salvation is abounding in us. Amen po ba? Amen. So, three points. My first point is, His name is above our circumstances. Pakisabi po, circumstances. Um, an example ko po dito si Moses. Kilala po ba natin si Moses? Amen. Amen. So si Moses, he was called to free God's nation. If bubuksan po natin, um, Exodus 33, uh, 3, 13, 14. Can you open with me? Amen. Sabi po dito, Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, What is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. So, syempre, ito po yung situation na uh, in if you free ni Moses, yung mga Israelites na sunog prisonieri ng uh, sa, sa Egypt po, e eh, syempre, tatanong po ng mga Israelites, sino ka ba? Sino ba nagpapadala sa'yo? Diba? Parang, hindi nila po alam kung sino, kung bakit siya nandun, kung sino ba siya, kung mataas na authority po ba siya. And then, sabi nga po ni God, ang sasabihin mo sa kanila that I am the great I am. I am who I am. And in that time, Moses knew kung sino po nagpapadala sa kanila. Did you remember that scene when uh, lumalakad po si... No, nung hinahabal po sila ng mga kalaban, and then they were sa dagat po. Ano po sabi ng Panginoon? Impartate mo yung tubig na yun. Si Moses po, wala po dalawang isip na gawin yun kasi he knew who is the God who said to do that. Amen? Hindi po siya nag-alinglangan, gagawin ko ba ito, may power ba ako? Hindi po siya ganun. Agad po niyang ginawa. And then, iba po yung mga tao, nung lumakad po sila, pa-enjoy-enjoy pa sa tubig, parang uh, hindi po nila, hindi po sila lumilingon kung, kung uh, nandun na po yung mga kalaban, kung malapit, kung malayo. Tayo po ba? Kapag sinabi ng Panginoon, lumakad ka doon, Ano po sasabihin natin na, Lord, dangerous ba yun? Ah, parang, di ko kaya, parang, ang dilim. Or, minsan, pag sa inamin ng Panginoon, lumakak doon, anak. Iniisipan po natin, Lord, I don't think so. I don't think na ito yung tama. Doon na lang ako. Sometimes we're like that. It is sad to say, pero ganun po tayo. Na hindi po natin may mga doubt pa po tayo, na, Lord, parang, masasapag yata po ako dito. But you know, Sabi nga po sa Jeremiah 29.11, alam po natin, di ba? God holds our future. Sabi nga po, for I know that the plans I have for you, plans to prosper and not to harm. Kaya po Panginoon, pag sinabi po ng Panginoon, dumaan ka doon, it is sure po that there is a hope. It is sure that there is a future there. Amen, Amen po ba? Uh, slide? Sabi nga, Sabi ni Max Lucado, the circumstances we ask God to change are often the circumstances God is 
using to change us. Minsan po, parang Panginoon, parang ah, ang dami na akong problema dito, paalis niyo po ako dito. But then, who knows? Na yung problema na yun, na yung circumstances na yun, yung pala ang magpapabago sa atin. Yung pala ang magpaparealize sa atin, ay, na ako, ay, ganun, ganun dapat. Amen po? Gising po ba kayo? Amen. Second, His name is above our ministries. Ayan. Ayan. Or church. He is, sabi, He is a Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi means He is our victory. Sabi nga, God doesn't call the equip, He equips the call. Kung tayo po, kung magaling na po tayo, siguro wala na po tayo dito. Kasi pwede magaling na, may career siguro na tayo. Siguro, may career na po tayo. But then, God calls and He equips. I remember po nung um, last weekend po, nasa Napoli po ako, sinurprise ko po yung best friend ko, and it was Saturday. And, um, obviously, okay, na practice po sila, yung mga CYM. And, um, alimproviso, umabay po yung nagtuturo sa kong close friend. Kinuha niya po ako, sabi niya, basta labi di ba na po kaya, parang hindi nila yung naisip yung mga accounts, mali-mali mga accounts, I mean, not the pro, parang, ayoko na, ayoko na, tapos umiyak po siya. Sabi ko, okay, calma. Alo, alo, calma. Sabi ko, alam mo, ang isipin mo, hindi mo nga talaga kaya eh. Hindi po natin kaya, pero ang kayang-kaya niya po. Kayang-kaya niya po. Yung po lang ako sinasabi, every time that I preach, sinasabi ko, Steph, hindi mo talaga kaya. Pero He is able. Ang tinitingnan po ng Panginoon, hindi po yung mga capacities natin. Ang tinitingnan po ng Panginoon, yung availability natin. Kung available po tayo na we answer His call, then bahala na po siya sa lahat. And um, kunwari po, magkasay si pastor or si ate, si kuya, si leader. Eh pastor, hindi ko po feel. Parang nahihiya pa po ako. Parang we make a lot of excuses. <clears throat> Amen po. This is powerhouse. Spratun to mga CYN, I've been there. Na every time, alam niyo kuya Ael, every time na inaasay niya ako, eh kuya, maaaral yata ako kasi may exam, wala naman. Or every time na, ito po, ito to, oh, um, nung sa prayer po ng WLT every Sunday, uh, mag, uh, kandya mo, we sing, then ba po may uh, prayer. Pag alam ko po na prayer na, takas na ako, uh, bubudan ko ng banyo, then, then pag narinig ko po na tapos na, ayan, pasok. Sometimes we're like that. But, hindi po natin alam na yung pala ang calling natin. Hindi ko kalain na magiging win coordinator ako. <laughs> na every time tumatakas ako, every time na may prayer. But then, sabi nga, our callings are irrevocable. Kahit po ilang best po tayo tumatakas sa calling na yun, sa ministry na yun, lagi po tayo dadahin ng Panginoon doon. And, slide, meron po akong passage dito. When, this is the passage po when Paul, uh, he was in, on his road to Damascus. In Acts 22, 6, 11. Una po tayo doon. Sabi nga po doon. Sa, sa verse 4 muna. I persecuted the followers of this way to their death arresting both men and women and throwing them into prison. As also the high priest and all the council can testify, I even obtained letters from, from them to their brothers in Damascus and, when there, and went there to bring these people as prisoners to Jerusalem to, Jerusalem to be punished. Verse 6, about noon, as I came near Damascus, suddenly a bright light from heaven flashed around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice say to me, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? I asked. 
I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting, he replied. My companions saw the light, but they did not understand the voice of him who was speaking to me. What shall I do, Lord? I asked. Get up, the Lord said, and go into Damascus. There, will, there you will be told all, all that you have been assigned to do. So, ito pang story ni Paul, uh, Prophet Paul, nung hindi ba po siya nakakilala sa Panginoon. So, his name was Saul. And um, nung nakit na niya po Panginoon doon sa road of Damascus, sabi niya, sino ka? And then Jesus replied, I am Jesus of Nazareth. And from that moment on, his life changed. Saul's life changed. And he became Paul. Amen po. Sayo po, um, yung encounter na po yun, you know, an encounter with God, an encounter with the great I Am, can change us. Amen po ba tayo? Siguro, dati nung hindi pa po tayo Christian, siguro, uh, tapang natin, ang yabang natin, ang selfish natin. I remember po sa Napoli, nung bata pa po ako, um, ang aggressive ko po. Ang aggressive ko po, parang uh, pag nasa school, uh, ang ano namin, dapat magdadala ka ng mga Barbies. Ako po, la ako po lagi madaming Barbies. Pero meron pong isang time, itong classmate na to, mas madami sa akin. Nagkakalit po ako, parang sinabunutan ko po siya, opo, ganun po. Pero buti na lang, nakakilala po ako. Pero yung po, parang, amen. So yung po, parang tayo po. When we uh, have met God, Nagbago po ba tayo ng totoo? Or meron pa pong something na medyo dapat ibago? Amen? And sometimes when we don't feel na nagbago po tayo talaga, it means na hindi po natin inaccept ng totoo ang Panginoon. That is. And... Diba po si, si Paul, alam po nila na he was a persecutor, parang anda niya pong pinatay na Christians. But then, his name is about our ministry kasi ganun po rin tayo sa church. Um, we think na, uh, you know, ministry is not a game. Ministry is sacred. And, um, Sa ministry po, opo, nakakapagod. Minsan, kasi syempre, hindi natin kapalis lahat, hindi po natin na-close lahat. But when we realize that His name is above our ministry, when we realize that His name is above our hearts and our church, then, there will be peace. Then, maayos pong lahat din, bahala pong Panginoon doon. And third point, yes, third point, dito po tayo, ah, yun, He is the Prince of Peace. And when we put our problems in God's hands, He puts His peace in our hearts. And that, the third point is, his name is above our personal lives. Personal lives, pag inisip ko po personal lives, ang iniisip ko po family. Lagi po sa sabas, in every preaching, in every church, lagi po inisert ang family. Why? Because sometimes, tayo po dito sa church, at may asayan ang mga family natin, oh, ayaw mo nga rin, ayaw mo nga pa mo ha. Tapos sa bahay, ano na, ginawa Or even mga kapatid po, uh, dito sa church, o oh, sige, mag-collaboriamo, uh, kutsama po si sex, kasi di pasi. But then sa bahay, parang hindi kayo magkakilala. You know, si Kuya po, alam niyo po, na nasa Australia po siya, lagi po daw tinetestify. Doon nasa bahay po kami, na nandito pa po siya. Min sa church, parang wala lang, parang, oh, parang par nag-uusap po kami. But, pag sa bahay, siya po ang sweet. Siya po yung laking kinikiss ako, yung parang basta. Parang gumaganong pa po ako kasi syempre sweet po si Goya, don't pet him. <laughs> but the fact is, minsan inisip natin, eh Sister Stephanie, hindi naman kami close ng anak ko. Eh Sister Stephanie, hindi naman ako close kay mama, kay papa, kasi nabi na sa trabaho, kasi um, madami siyang ginagawa. 
But then you know, do not ask, see and do not ask what your parents can do for you. Ask what you can do for them. If hindi niyo na po nakikita si YL, hindi po, if hindi niyo nakikita ang hope sa mga magulang niyo, then you be the hope. Kayo maging ilaw ng tahanan. If hindi niyo sinasabi niyo, eh si mama, gano'n naman, hindi naman ako in-encourage or gano'n, then you encourage them. Then that is my relationship po with my parents. Alam po siguro ng mga ilang kaibigan ko po na I'm very close with them. And that is because ayoko po na uh, when will I have child, children, ayoko po na marayo po sila. And then I can be proud na sabihin ko po, alam mo yung lola mo, lolo, lolo, of course kami, nag-usap kami ng ganun. And then parents desire for a close relationship with your children, desire. There is no greater joy po talaga na um, na alam niyo po kung ano pong pinagdadaanan nila. Alam niyo po kami ang mga kabataan. Maybe, oh, meron mer po kami mga problems, meron din po kami mga um, mga sakit. Meron po. Meron po kong kaibigan na uh, ang dami niya pong pinagdaanan pero yung mga magulang niya walang alam. Pero alam niyo ang sabi niya, Steph, bakit ganun? Wala silang alam sa akin, pero gusto ko yung hindi ko na nakifeel yung pagmamahal nila. We have to show our parents and our children the love of God. Kasi po, we are here because God first loved us. Amen? So, ano po gagawin natin sa pagmamahal ngayon? Ikikip natin sa sarili natin? No, we give it first to our family. Slide. Sabi ang po, Colossians 3.15 let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Oo, oh, minsan po, nangyayari na ang gulong po ng mga pamilya natin, but then sabi nga po, let the peace of God rule in our hearts. Let the peace of God rule in our families. Slide, and I am about to conclude. That is why my title is No Other Name. No Other Name. His name is about our circumstances. His name is about our ministries. His name is about our personal lives. And that is why there is no other name. Sa Acts 4, 4.12 Can I call the worship team? po dito, Acts for, no, sa una po, slide. Slide at it. Sa una po, sabi, by what power or what name did you do this? Ang tinatanong po ng mga tao kay um, sa mga prophets. Sabi, by what power or what name did you do this slide? It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Slide. And Acts 4, 12, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. Siguro pag, when God was searching kung sino po ang worthy, hindi po yung mga angels, hindi po tayo, kasi wala po tayo, but no other name than Jesus. But Jesus. When I think of the name of Jesus, ano po ang iniisip natin? When we think of His name, when we think of His name, ano po ba ang First impact. Siguro yung mga iba na hindi po uh, kilalang Panginoon, Jesus. Oo, yung nag-save, di ba? Yung namatay sa cross. Pero tayo po ba na alam natin, we know the truth, we know what God did, we know what Jesus did. 
sa bina po, salvation is found in no one else. Kasi lang, kasi po ang ang Panginoon lang po ang pwede isolve mga problems natin. Ang Panginoon lang po pwede ang magbigay ng peace sa atin. Ang Panginoon lang po pwede um, isovereign, itake care ang puso natin. No, when I think about Jesus, I can't believe that Jesus, the name above all names, is my Father. I can't imagine that Jesus, above all names, is the King of all kings. I can't believe that Jesus, that is above all names, is my friend. Means and for we, we take for granted na oh, si Jesus ang dyan naman palagi siya. But, tinanong po ba natin kung anong pong gusto ng Panginoon sa atin? We always ask God, God, give us this, help me in on this. But have we ever asked God, Panginoon, anong pong gusto niya na gawin ko? Panginoon, anong gusto niyo na ibigay ko po sa inyo? Of course, He is so kind. Of course, ibibigay niya po lahat para sa atin. But you know, as parents, He wants to feel loved too. As we stand up po in this very morning, <laughs> siguro po sa mga pangalan natin, uh, pag sinasabi po ang full sa iyo, mga pangalan natin, ay, hindi yung ano, ang hindi siya mapait, hindi siya ganun, ang dami niyang pagkakamali, ginawa niya, ay hindi, huwag ka sa Sabado. But I have a very good news. God changed our names. And do you know what? Yung name na yun is Christians. That name means that we are followers of Christ. Means na yung mga kasalanan dati, wala na po. It means na when we become when we become Christians, it means that the power of God is in us. It means na uh, in 2 Timothy 1, 7, God did not give us a power of timidity, but remember this, a spirit of love, of power, and self-discipline. <laughs> sabi nga po, minsan, sa ministry po, sinasabi natin, um, hindi ko, hindi ko to kaya. But you know, God, God, sabi po sa, um, the Bible, 1 Corinthians 1:27. God chose the foolish thing of this world to shame the wise. Kaya nga po nandito po tayo. Kasi tayo po ang gagamitin ng Panginoon para maging ilaw sa labas. Question is, do you really acknowledge, do you really recognize that His name is about this world? That that name, that name is about is above our hearts. That name is above our spirit. That name is above our lives. Maybe many of us have a dark past. Dahil sa pangalan, dahil sa reputasyon, ayaw na natin. Or dahil sa isang pagkakamali sa ministry, sa kaibigan, sa asawa. I know what happened. But you know, there is a God. And I am really honored to serve that God. I am really honored to serve that God. You know, if we take seriously ang pagsaserve sa Panginoon, if we take seriously kung ano pa pinagagawa ng Panginoon, then at the end, makikita po natin ang fruits. Makikita po natin ang kung ano po ang tinanim natin. You know, in this song, sabi, because of who you are, I give you glory. Because you know that Jesus is our Jehovah Chira. He is our provider. Kung may nga problema po tayo then, He will provide for us. If we have financial, financial problems, then He will provide for us. Sabi nga, He is a 
Jehovah Nisi. He is our victory. Kahit po dami mga failures, He is our victory. Sabi po, He is our Jehovah Shalom. He is our peace. Now today, why we sing this song, declare, you know, believe that every time that you, every time it's been po natin, you are my Jehovah Shalom. You are my Jehovah Nisi. You are my Jehovah Jireh. Believe. Believe. Are you ready, people of God? Are you ready, people of God? As we close our hearts, as we close our eyes. Because of who you are, I feel
just believe. If you just believe, Bob, that, that Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, and Jehovah Shalom can really provide and have peace. I don't know for who I know been the daan But this time is for you and for and to, and to God. Don't waste this time. As we sing again for this song. You know the presence of God is here. You know, He is more than ready to pour out His Spirit. He is more than ready to, to, to move. And He is more than ready. The question is, are you ready for?